This is Joe. He can draw. Oh boy, I don't know about these drawings, but he definitely can animate. Today, WMA dives into the world of idols. John's gonna animate one idol and use the same animation to create 12 unique idols. How the hell's he gonna do that? You're about to find out. It's time to let John show us how it's done. Let's do this. Select your character. The blocks Jordan group selected. Select your style. Default selected. Select your mode. 3DS maps. The Blocks body mechanic rigs made simple and fun are now available for 3DS Max, Maya, and Blender. The blocks are simple to use, easy to customize, and most importantly, super fun to animate. Visit gumroad.com slash watch me animate to get the blocks complete 12 character set now. This is season three, episode one, and the fun begins with this Jordan Idol. You see, I'm gonna animate Jordan's idol and then challenge myself to reuse this very same animation to create 11 more idols. In total, we're gonna have 12 unique idols using the blocks, and it's gonna be quite the challenge, and that is why this season is gonna be a lot of fun to watch. But before the show begins, if you wanna show your support for the channel, the best way to do it is to share this video on your social media. Of course, commenting below to let me know if you like the content, hitting the like and subscribe if you're not already, because believe it or not, according to my stats, a lot of you watching are not subscribed to the channel yet. So let's get this channel to 20K subs with your support. And on that, episode one, Jordan Idol, here we go. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the show. I'm gonna animate 12 idols using the same animation, and it all starts with this Jordan idol. So, posing's the very first thing on the agenda. Jordan's a jock, he loves sports, so that's the vibe I'm going for with his posing. Two poses with one duplicate pose to make his idol animation loop is all we need. Pose number one, number two, and number three. So I got my poses ready, therefore the next thing I like to do is set my timing. I simply extend the timeline and start moving my key poses around until I feel the timing is right. Animation is all about timing, it's just like the rhythm of a song. You want to get the beat just right. So I found my timing and now I'm ready to start animating using the layered method. Calm is where I like to start my animation for one simple reason. The entire body is being driven by this controller. So diving into my F curves, I'm adjusting Jordan's sway from left to right so that the comms timing, AKA weight, feels correct. I'm gonna make some small adjustments on the pelvis as well since it's connected to the comm. And I'm also gonna make sure that the animation start and end loops seamlessly. With the timing of the comm set, I now move up to the spine to add in follow through an overlapping motion. Jordan's final animation will be seen from a front facing camera. Therefore, I'm only concerned with how the animation looks from the front view, thank God. <laughs> it's important to note that you should always animate to your camera unless it's for a video game, for example, where the character will be seen in 360 degrees. My spine motion is feeling good and I'm going to use the spine timing to animate the head. So remember earlier on I said the comm was the initial driver. Now I'm going to make the switch and use my head to drive this animation. I'm going to add in some micro movements to give the head more personality which will make the overall animation more appealing and you'll see in just a sec that Jordan's performance is now slowly coming to life. The same way we use the spine to animate the head, I'll do the same thing but with the arms instead. Now, I'm animating using the straight ahead method. It's a personal preference and in my opinion, it gives you a more organic result. Now, I don't wanna over animate the arms and by that I mean making the arms look too busy versus the rest of the body. Keeping them in balance to support the rest of the performance is key. Another pass on the arms to add in more detail, also known as texture, which is the word used in the industry, which means the exact same thing. So the challenge is to make the arms look interesting with subtle motion. And to do that, I'm using small micro rotations in every possible axis available to me. Now, I also preferred keeping the hands closed in a fist. This just felt more Jordan-like or jock-like, if you will. Or to be completely honest, I was just being lazy. I didn't want to animate the fingers. <laughs> 
thin to polished pass we go and at this stage everything in the animation is subject to small tweaks and adjustments to help push the performance as much as possible. Now there's no real order that I'm following at this stage, I'm just observing and adjusting on the fly. Now breathing is a definite must have when your rig can do it but when it can't you simply scale the chest control as I'm doing to give you a pretty convincing result. So earlier on, I said that I'm only animating to the front facing camera. That said, I will still use all viewing options to help push the performance as I'm doing right now with the head and chest. Even when the animation is only being seen from the front, use everything in the body to help polish and push your performance and viewing your animation from all angles helps you do just that. All right, we are in the final pass. We made it, more general polish. And here I'm cleaning up the knee swivel to Jordan's right leg, which now slides instead of the small step I originally had. Just felt like overkill with the stepping. I mean, sliding just worked better, in my opinion. I'm gonna add in more micro rotations to his left wrist and just make some final adjustments in the F-curve editor. And that is how I animated Jordan's Idol from start to finish. Now things are going to get very interesting as we continue this series and reuse Jordan's Idol to create 11 more idols. For those wondering where the WMA recaps are, I'm excited to announce that moving forward, all WMA recaps will be standalone videos in a brand new format that I think you'll absolutely love. WMA recaps go live on the channel shortly after the release of each episode, so stay tuned for that. Finally, the blocks, body mechanic rigs made simple and fun are now available for 3DS Max, Maya, and Blender. The blocks are simple to use, easy to customize, and most importantly, super fun to animate. Visit gumroad.com slash watchmeanimate to get the blocks complete 12 character set now. The link is in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.